this week, just days after a huge tornado system ripped through Kentucky and several other states in the southeast and Midwest, a new system spawned more than a dozen tornadoes and again caused serious destruction in multiple states. And the thing that's so unusual here, not just the storm's strength, but its timing. Minnesota was under a tornado warning for the first time ever in December. Now, scientists are trying to figure out how much of this is because of climate change, and maybe more importantly, is it going to become the new normal? NBC's Gabe Gutierrez has our Sunday focus. From Kentucky to Illinois, Arkansas to Iowa, this morning communities are rebuilding after those rare December tornadoes. The level of destruction uh, we think now is in the billions across Kentucky, and it's going to take us some real time. But we are not broken. We don't break. With the National Guard, we took in the widespread damage across Kentucky from the air. It's just utter devastation. At the scope and the scale from this altitude, it's just, I mean, it's just terrible. The National Weather Service has now classified the main tornado that decimated Mayfield as a powerful EF4, packing winds of up to 190 miles an hour. It was on the ground for more than two hours. Experts are now questioning whether these kinds of weather events might become more common. We had tornadoes in December, like we, we've seen in the last few days. Uh, the record warm air mass we've had is a, a huge factor. Bob Henson is a meteorologist for Yale Climate Connections, who says violent tornadoes might not be more frequent, but their timing may be different. What is happening is the seasons are getting reshuffled and rearranged. So here we are with a tornado outbreak in December. Um, the same changes might also bring us fewer tornadoes in the summertime. And we might not have as strong a jet stream in the summer as the climate continues to warm. So more than really an increase in violence of tornadoes overall, uh, we're seeing shifting both in where tornadoes happen and when they're happening. So this storm is headed your way in the next 10 minutes. In Kentucky, despite warnings from local meteorologists, the sheer power of this December twister seemed to take many people by surprise. Donna Maceda was driving home from out of state when her daughter Brianna called to tell her the storm was barreling toward their house. All I could hear was her screaming for me and uh, mom, I don't know what to do and mom, I'm so scared that I didn't know what to say. Like, what do you say? What do you say when you witness this. This is our first up close look at the candle factory that was obliterated. More than 100 people were working here. Eight of them were killed. The only thing I remember after that is I heard all kinds of noises and the next thing I know I open my eyes and I'm stuck. I'm, I can't move my legs. So all this concrete had just it fallen on top of you. Literally a wall, like a concrete wall was on top of me. 21 year old Michaela Emery was among the workers who survived after being trapped under a concrete slab for six hours. The death of one of her co-workers nearby haunts her. It hurts so bad and it's not, there's nothing that I can do, but that was my friend and that still is my friend. That is the impact of this tornado outbreak. The scientific reason behind it is less clear. It's something to be aware of as climate change unfolds, especially uh, just keeping in the back of your mind, um, we can expect the unexpected when it comes to tornado season more and more. Gabe is joining me now live. Gabe, um, good morning to you, my friend. Listen, I, I watched you all week long as you were out there reporting in that area. We saw you in that piece, you know, right there on the ground. I know one of the experts that you talked to talked about seeing a shift in, in where and when we're seeing tornadoes. But what about how many, right? Are we seeing more of them than, let's say, 20 years ago? Well, Hallie, good morning, and it is not a simple answer. Yes, we do have more reported tornadoes, but that could be because data tracking methods have improved over time and less severe tornadoes are being identified more consistently, Hallie. That's an interesting point. Can you talk more, too, about the location shift, right? We know that they're moving where and how. Yeah, the most frequent tornadoes had typically been in what's known as Tornado Alley in the central U.S., Kansas and Oklahoma. But the data now suggests that that may have shifted just a bit to include more of the South Alley. Gabe Gutierrez, live for us. Gabe, thank you. Really great reporting. Appreciate you being with us this morning. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.